Today is a day when we are moving into the trailer. Two weeks ago on Friday was our last day of our jobs. In the meantime, we have been uh, doing errands and getting things ready. Today, uh, we're going to go on a two-day camping trip. So for that, we want to fill in the trailer with all the stuff we are going to take with us. And I'm moving it, moving into it full time. So we're just going to be camping not too far away, about a couple hours away, uh, just for a couple of nights, just to, uh, to try it all out. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, everything works pretty well. And then in just under two weeks time, we'll be hitting the road and heading out to Texas. Yep. Yeah, all clear. So it is about 12.30 right now. And we spent the whole morning piling stuff in the trailer. Um, at this point, it wasn't really possible to put stuff exactly where it's gonna go at this point. It was just kind of, let's get everything in, everything yeah. that we think we might need for a full-time living. We didn't put quite everything, but kind of most of the stuff. Now it's just, cupboards are full and we'll need to sort it out at some point. Um, now we're heading out to our campground. Uh, it's about an hour away. And uh, yeah, we'll um, hook up there and uh, just take a shower yeah. and then start yeah. sorting through stuff and hopefully everything fits nicely but at least it makes me feel better that at least things fit stuff in there, yeah, yeah. This is the moment of truth. Did everything stay in the cupboards? Okay. Nothing on the floor. Good start. Look at that. Fantastic. Everything's in its place. So we stuffed all the clothes in the cupboards in the closet and now we're trying to make sense out of it. We bought these uh, cloth baskets from Target. Now we're trying to fold uh, clothes in it and then afterwards we'll build uh, shelves into our closet and put these um, baskets in it. is eating a watermelon for first time in his life. What do you think? It's okay. It tastes like melon, but not quite like melon. Don't you think a cold, juicy watermelon would be really nice in a hot summer day? Maybe. I don't know. In all your life, of 30 plus years, you never ever had a watermelon. No. Oh. Why? I don't like melon. But watermelon is different than melon. Mm. It's named badly then. <laughs> okay, mm. would eat again? Maybe. Okay, on a very hot summer day. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. So we were planning to cook potatoes in instant pot, but we forgot the bottom mesh thing that goes on the bottom. So instead, we thought what else we could put in there. So we found these tea strainer pieces. So I'll try those. It's water on the bottom. Two parts of tea strainer. And potato on pot on top. What could go wrong? Hey, hey, hey second one. Okay. Uh, 
they may have just fallen off when I carried it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, looks like they cooked. And these also look like they have survived. Actually, they're not that hot. Interesting. Well, I think this, I call this a win. We're driving back home from the first uh, full-time test trip. We had a meal plan for trying out all our sort of more complicated, typical recipes that we do. Um, so it started well. We tried out uh, making pizza from scratch. Our pizza stuff did fit in the pizza oven, so that's great news. And the pizza oven worked great, so that was good. For the rest of the meal plan, we were planning to do potato pancakes, which required a blender. And we forgot to take our blender. Uh, for another meal, uh, we wanted to do hash browns. And for that, we forgot to take a crater. So we had to improvise and do something else with the potatoes. Uh, what else did we forgot? We've got a bottle opener. Um, yeah. Fortunately, uh, despite almost everything I own having a bottle opener, we forgot. Turns out the bike rack tool, for some reason, has a uh, bottle opener on it. So use the bike rack tool. That worked well. Uh, still don't know. What why a bike rack tool needs or should have a bottle opener. But whoever it was who designed that and put that on there, thank you, that was appreciated. Uh, another thing we forgot was uh, an instant pot, uh, the bottom insert for the steaming vegetables. Yeah. So we may do with um, a tea stainer. Otherwise, otherwise good, test. Um, so we had done one maiden voyage with the trailer. So that was more kind of checking out the trailer is fine. Um, that one well and this time it was more like trying to bring all the stuff in the trailer and seeing that things mostly fit so we went we did a little bit of organization of the closet we got um, this cloth fabric bins where we folded in the clothes and that will work well now we're gonna need to put in the shelves and we went through the pantry and like cupboard in the back to kind of see where how we're gonna store the food and pots of pans and things like that. So we, I think we have an idea. And now the next stop is gonna be Ikea to get some um, storage containers. that needs to end up in the RV. I hope we have enough space. Ta-da! We have installed finished shelves for the bedroom cupboards. And look at this disaster. All of this needs to end up in the cupboard before we get on the road. All of that has to make it in here. So we did manage to fit five days of food in the fridge. And the freezer is pretty much empty. Look at that. We're so close to being done. These are the final items that need to go into the RV. Today is the first day of our once-in-a-lifetime adventure. We want to visit all 400 plus national park units in the United States. We left our jobs three weeks ago and we spent this time preparing to hit the road. And after all that planning and preparing, the day is finally here. We got up nice and early at 5.15 in the morning, 
so that we could take our mattress to a mattress recycling place. And then we got back, we piled all the remaining stuff in the truck, we dropped off our keys to the apartment and stopped by Trader Joe's. And with all the stuff and our bicycles, we then got to the trailer in storage. And now we had to get all the stuff inside the cupboards. Um, we mostly managed, we had to leave a few boxes um, on the floor, which uh, during the next few days we'll have to uh, pack, repack everything and organize it more nicely and then everything should absolutely fit. Now we're on the road to the first campground, uh, which is only about an hour and a half, two hours away. We want to start nice and easy in case we get uh, some delays. Now we'll spend five days driving to Texas. In this car, every life form has been seat belted including the plants, an orchid and an uh, aero garden. We'll see how long they'll survive, but we thought we would try to take them with us anyways. Mm -hmm. 